So I'm just back from Kroger and I wanted to share this grocery haul with you. And I will say that I spent $350 and that is two thirds or rather three fourths of my grocery budget for the month of March, which means that I'm going to have to be very frugal from here on out. So let me show you what I've gotten and we'll talk a little bit about why I got some of what I got. And then as I move through, I'll try to flip in some recipes to show you how I'm using some of what I got since you guys said that you like that. So let's get this started. This video is brought to you by Apron Diva. Pretty and practical, we believe that an apron can be a homemaker's best accessory. Visit us at www.aprondiva.com. So one of the things that I picked up today were these two cans of chunk beef, fully cooked chunk beef by Grable Meats. And you guys know this is a brand that I love, but here's the backstory. As you probably are aware, there's been huge wildfires that's been burning up millions of acres in Texas and over 3,000 head of livestock has been killed in the fire. And they anticipate more will be destroyed because of either burns to their hooves, to their udders, or something to that effect. So I'm anticipating beef to be shorter in supply and higher in price. So I thought, let me just see what I can pick up today while I'm making my groceries or making my groceries as my girlfriend RG used to say. They used to say that we're going to go and make groceries and we would tease her about that and then here I just said it. But I wanted to pick up some beef today if I could find some at reasonable prices. So now these cans of Grable Country Meat and these are the short cans was $7.99. I think they used to be $6.99. I know the last time I picked up the turkey and the chicken and they were $6.99. These were $7.99 today. So I'll keep my eye out on that. But I wanted to be sure to get that. And then the other thing I wanted to pick up was some ground beef. Now, I always go straight to the manager special to see what's on sale. This was the only pack of ground beef that was in that manager special aisle. It was quite slim to tell you the truth, but this was the only ground beef there. And it is the Laura's Lean Beef and it was on sale for $4.79. And so I will repackage this with my food saver and pop it in the freezer. And then I picked up two packs of the Kroger ground beef. And this is the 85% lean 15% fat and it was not on sale. I'm thinking this ground beef was about $6.99 a pound so I picked up two pounds of that. We have a lot of tacos in our family and sometimes chili and a lot of times I will make vegan chili but the hubby didn't always want vegan chili or vegan tacos so I will make tacos with ground beef in it. So I wanted to have this available should I so desire that. And then I also picked up some Italian, sweet Italian sausage. These are the Johnsonville sweet Italian sausage. And I had been making quite a bit of the Zuppa Toscana. And my family loves it and I love it. And Mickey Blue Sky has made some with the impossible meat to use some kind of impossible sausage. It was pretty good. So I picked up a pack of that myself made it last week and it was delicious but I missed having my real Italian sausage in it. So I decided from now on if I could afford to whenever I decided to make that dish I would use real Italian sausage to put in it so I picked up some of this for that. And then we like sausage for breakfast every now and again. Sometimes for Sunday brunch, sometimes my hubby, my hubby might get the urge to make a nice breakfast uh, in the middle of the week and he'll get out bacon or sausage. So there are eight packs of eight patties in each pack. So what I'm going to do is to break this up into four patty portions and put them in the freezer. And then on the days that he wants to make sausage, then we'll just have a small pack that just has four patties in it. And that's what we'll have that day. So two packs of those. And then 
When I go grocery shopping, I like to pick up something that we can have pretty quickly that night. So I picked up this rotisserie chicken and it is the Home Chef rotisserie chicken. It was $7.99 for the chicken. So now we will have this for probably two, maybe three meals. We'll have it tonight with some kind of a potato and veggie and gravy on the side. And then I'll either make chicken noodle soup, chicken and dumplings, chicken casserole, some chicken or another with the leftovers. So maybe I'll get a second or a third meal out of that. What I will do is flip into this video a recipe where I showed you how I made either chicken and dumplings or chicken and noodles with the rotisserie chicken so that you can have some ideas as to how you can use your leftovers. And the nice thing about that is that if you've got a family that doesn't like leftovers and you have roasted chicken on Sunday and now chicken and dumplings or chicken noodle soup or some kind of chicken casserole, maybe chicken pot pie on Wednesday or Thursday, they think they've got a whole new meal. So, there's that. Now, something else that I picked up, and this was pricey. This was $11.65, and it is smoked turkey wings. And you're probably thinking, well, then why did you buy it? Well, the last time I had Sunday dinner, and I have reinstituted Sunday dinner here in the Jordan family, and the last time I had Sunday dinner, Mickey Blue Skies was going to bring, bring green beans. And she has this special recipe that she got from one of my, my other sisters. And they used turkey tails in the recipe. And she couldn't find any. She went to three or four different stores before she finally found those turkey tails to season those green beans. So I thought, since I saw these smoked turkey wings, I would just go ahead and pick some up. So the next time I needed to have some smoked turkey for seasoning, I have some. Now there are two wings here. So what I am going to do is to break this pack in half and put them into two separate food saver bags and pop them in the freezer so that I'll have them available when I need to. Now right here I have got a, about a pound and a third of perch, ocean perch, and it's wild caught. It's the kind my husband likes. So I got quite a bit of kind of fishy, seafoody kind of things today because again, I haven't been picking those things up lately. And this was $8.99 a pound, and so it was $12.23. So what I will do is I will portion these out into either two or three individual servings. I picked up 10 fillets and I'll have him look at the fillets to decide how many we need in a package for a serving. So they'll either be three in a pack or they'll be four or five in a pack. So now I'll let you see that process. And then this pork loin roast was on sale. It was marked down from $12.08 to 804 so it's almost four dollars off so what I'm going to do is to cut it into thirds and then I'm going to pop it in the freezer so again I will share that process with you as well and then I looked at chickens and I'll show you the prices that I saw on chickens as well as roast beef because I did take some video while I was in the store this was five dollars for this package of drumsticks and there are four and a half pounds of drumsticks here and I like to have drumsticks when we're gonna grill we'll put chicken drumsticks on the grill if I'm gonna make say chicken and noodles or chicken and dumplings I need the drumsticks because the drumsticks the dark meat has more of the flavor so I like to have those to put in that and then of course just putting them in the oven and putting a little barbecue sauce on them and roasting them and having them that way so I'm going to break these up and I'll probably portion them out into five drumsticks in a pack. So there are those. And of course, you always need onions. I use onions when I'm roasting, when I'm making stews and soups and things like that. So I picked up this package of yellow onions. And then these pears were on sale for, I think it was $1.49. I thought it was a pretty good price, so I picked up four of those. And then these apples were 99 cents a pound. Now, these are the gala apples. And usually I will get some gala, some honey crisp, some of the more pricey apples as well. But this time, since I was trying to save a dollar or two wherever I could, I just got the gala apples. And we'll have those. And I didn't get any other snacks like chips or anything like that. My husband said, don't bring me any snacks. 
he wants to try to cut back so we're going to try to get back on our cleaner eating so I just picked up fruit in that regards and then over here one of the things that I picked up was this holy guacamole and it's about for maybe 450 for this package of six individual cups serving sizes for the holy guacamole now when I say six individual cups each cup is probably about two ounces and my husband doesn't like guacamole he doesn't like avocado but I do so I decided if I buy this I can take one cup use half of it if I'm having chili or tacos or whatever and use the other half of the cup the next day when I'm having leftovers the other five cups will go back in the fridge and they'll last until I open them up and use them so I figured I was saving by doing this instead of buying fresh avocados and then letting them go bad, which I have done on occasion. So we'll be having some tacos. As you know, we have Taco Tuesday. So we have either some kind of a taco or Mexican themed dish on most Tuesdays. And then when we're having chili, I like to use those as well. As far as milk, I picked up the silk coconut milk and I have found that I really, really like it even better than the almond milk. And I use this silk coconut milk in everything that I need to use milk in unless Blue Skies is coming over and then I have to make sure that I'm just using plain old regular milk because she's allergic to nuts. And since I am drinking coffee again, I picked up my caramel macchiato creamer and I've also been using it in my hot chocolate it gives hot chocolate such a nice flavor and you know sometimes I'm feeling for those fancy coffees you get at Starbucks and so I can kind of simulate some of that myself here at home I'll show you a little bit more about that later but it starts with my caramel macchiato creamer and then picked up one loaf of bread this bread was on sale for $1.50, so I snatched it right up, and it'll last us about a week. And then I can either go and pick up some more fresh for next week, or make some. And as I mentioned, we have some kind of a taco-themed or Mexican-themed dish once a week. Often requires some kind of cheese, so I picked up this nacho and taco cheese combination. And then, of course, butter. I picked up a small carton of the Land O'Lakes honey butter spread which I like to have on corn muffins and toast and bagels and that kind of thing so I just got a small carton of that and then a dozen eggs and you know you got to have eggs for scrambled eggs in the morning for baking and so many other things so I picked up bread or eggs rather and then some orange juice this simply orange was about 50 cents off and so I picked up two bottles of this so it'll last us this week and next week and it is the calcium with vitamin D and it's pulp free we like pulp free juice around here and just to make sure that I share these two meat related items with you I picked up this package of Gordon's beer battered fillets and my husband likes to have fish sticks for lunch sometimes. And these aren't fish sticks. They're actually fish fillets. They're not minced or anything like that. They're whole fish fillets. And they make nice sandwiches. So I picked up a bag of that. They had them on sale at Kroger. And then I love this jumbo shrimp. And it's the butterfly shrimp. It's oven crispy. And so a lot of times my husband will make it. He'll put it in the oven and he'll make a seafood sauce from scratch to go with them. And it's delicious. So I get these when I can. And they were on sale for a dollar off at Kroger. So let me get these things put away or at least moved off the counter. And then I'll show you what else I have to share with you. And then once I've shown you the entire grocery haul, then I will get those meats repackaged and put away. So hang on, I'll be right back. So here are some of the pantry staples that I picked up as well as a few more produce items. And I tell you what, I probably should not have gotten these. These are nectarines. They were $1.99 at Kroger. And then also these peaches, $1.99 at Kroger. You know, it is not the season for nectarines and peaches 
but I was so happy to see them. And I thought, okay, I'll give them a try. I can let them sit on the windowsill maybe for a few days and then they will ripen up a little bit and they'll be delicious. But I just had to get them. They were not on the list, so I'm sure that contributed just a little bit to the rise on my grocery bill today. Picked up a couple of lemons and I really needed some lemons. You know you use lemons in so many things, but one of my sisters had been staying with me for about three or four days and every morning she would get up and make herself a cup of tea and she would slice up a lemon and have it in her tea and it just seemed so refreshing. So I thought, I better refresh my lemon. So I picked up a couple of those. And of course you gotta have some limes. If you make chili or tacos or any kind of a Mexican inspired dish, you gotta have some limes. So I picked up three of those. And then I'm going to make a big salad with cauliflower and broccoli, maybe. Either that or I'll do a stir fry. But my husband prefers to have his cauliflower and broccoli cooked in a stir fry rather than raw in a salad. So we'll see what I end up doing. And then I needed another jar of this Better Than Bouillon chicken base. So I got one of those. And then you guys know I typically buy Heinz gravy and it's about $2.99 a jar. Well, I discovered this Kroger chicken gravy, turkey gravy, brown gravy, and it's only $1.99 a jar and it tastes pretty good. And it might only have been $1.49, but it tastes pretty good. And what I will do is use it up with a little bit of my own broth. Like I might take a little bit of broth off of my chicken or turkey add some of my own spices and then juice up the gravy. So I just picked up two jars of that. I like to have a jar that I can just flip out in case I need to. Now that being said, gravy is so easy to make, but some days I just don't feel like making it. So then I'll go with something and end up with a semi homemade product. So there's that. And then you guys know that we like to use the Ben's Original 90 Second Rice. Well, the Ben's Original 90 Second Rice was two for five dollars. And the Kroger 90 Second Rice was two for three dollars. So needless to say, I got the Kroger brand today. And what I got was their um, long grain and wild rice. I picked up two packs of those. And then the Jasmine Rice two packs of those and then oh three packs of the long grain and brown rice so three packs of those and then the brown rice with ancient grains is absolutely amazing and it was $2.99 a pack but I did pick up two packs of those I found a brown rice and ancient grains at Aldi one day and I loved it so when I see them I will try to pick up one or two packs now that being said, I have a lot of rice. I got enough rice probably to last this three, four, or five months. However, if my husband's making a meal, lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever, he's not about to get out a cup of rice that's going to take him 20 to 45 minutes to cook. He just is not. So when he needs to make rice, he wants it to be ready in 90 seconds. So sometimes on Sunday or Monday, I'll make a pot of rice. So there's just rice in the fridge for him to grab when he wants it. But in case I don't have that available, he'll grab one of these packs and then he's good to go. So I do like to keep these on hand. Okay, now something else that I needed to get, which is pretty much a staple here in our home, is I needed to pick up some teas. And you know, there's been this respiratory thing going around. One of my sisters had it and she came over and I gave her a lot of my medicinal teas and I like to keep this throat coat on hand. So I only had like one bag of that left. So I picked up this box of throat coat and it is very, very good. It helps if you've got a sore throat and kind of helps to ward off that thing. And then my granddaughter, my middle granddaughter, she just likes to drink the throat coat when she's having tea because she just likes the flavor of it and it makes her throat feel good. So she likes to buy that or to drink that. And then I like the elderberry lemon balm immune function and stress response. So 
we are definitely both of a certain age and we need to be boosting our immune system whenever we can so i like to have these and then every now and then if there's some digestic digestive um irregularities i like to use this organic smooth mood it's really good to help with the stomach so i got those teas and that being said i give him tea every morning and i have to give him some honey in the tea to sweeten it and typically when i make the tea i will either make a tea from whole cloves orange peel cinnamon sticks and maybe one or two black tea bags put that in my biting tea kettle make a big pot and then strain it and then give him a cup and then put some honey in it and then i've got enough tea in the fridge for a couple of days so that's why i had to get the honey and i'll show you how i do that so there's that and then we were talking about my fancy coffees and i tell you what mickey blue skies can make some fancy coffee she's got like the frother and all those different little gadgets that just really make it all jazzy just like you can get one in starbucks but i started buying this giardelli caramel sauce or the giardelli white caramel sauce and i've also got a giardelli chocolate that i can put in the coffee so if i'm making hot chocolate I might add one of these to the hot chocolate, or I might add these to the coffee, or I might add the chocolate sauce to my coffee. So, needed these for my fancy coffees. And they were like, I think $6.99 a bottle. So they were not cheap. However, I will have these for at least two months, if not longer. So those were a few things that I hadn't picked up for a while. And then, these are the snacks that I got from my husband. I picked up a carton of honey roasted mixed nuts. And this puppy was $16. However, it's going to be a little bit better for him than the potato chips and different kind of things like that that I have been getting. And I might even make some granola this week. We'll see. But this is what I picked up instead of the chips. And then also, I also got the fresh fruit. We like chopped pecans in our oatmeal, and then when I'm having nuts and berries, which is yogurt, a fat-free yogurt with blueberries and strawberries and maybe blackberries, and then just a little sprinkle of nuts on top, I like to have these chopped pecans for that purpose. And then he likes to use the chopped pecans in his oatmeal, so had to get some of those. We were just about out, yeah. And then, of course, I like to keep the old El Paso stand and stuff taco shells on hand so that when we have tacos, I'm ready to go. And then needed a box of cereal, and I like the Raisin Bran Crunch. I did see a new version of, of Raisin Bran Crunch, and I thought, I should give that a try. But I didn't today because I was trying to kind of cut back on things. And you're probably thinking, cut back where? Well, I did cut back on some things, and there were some things that I just needed. And then over here, I've got my canned goods that I picked up. So, hubby made some salmon patties yesterday. You guys know I did not eat any of those, but he made salmon patties. And so, as Granny Karma says, two is one and one is none. So, he used the only can of salmon, pat of salmon we had on the shelf. So, I replaced it with this one. And then I wanted to pick up some kidney beans. I've been using those in different recipes. So I picked up four cans of those. I think they were like 89 cents a can. And then not paying attention, picked up some cream style corn. This is not what I meant to buy, but it's what I got and we will have to eat it. And then um, the black beans, you guys know we use a lot of black beans for soups and chilies and tacos and all those kinds of things. So black beans and then two cans of white cream style corn. I don't know how I did that. I think it must have been sitting in the wrong place. And when I reached, I just wasn't paying good attention. So some white sweet corn and then also, I thought I had gotten some yellow sweet corn, but evidently instead of getting yellow sweet corn, I got some cream style, yellow cream style. So that's what we'll be having. So these will be going on my pantry shelf. And as I mentioned earlier, I have been using quite a bit from my extended pantry or my prepper pantry. So I have decided that I've got to start 
rebuilding it so that I do have a three month food supply. I do have a video that shows you how I initially built that three month prepper pantry. If you missed it, I'll link it in the description box below, but I am trying to rebuild it. So I am gradually restocking with things, or shall I say topping it off with things that I need to get. And so these canned goods were some of the ones that I've been using quite a bit. So at least three of each of these will be going on the extended pantry shelf. So now let me get these out of the way and then I'll show you the paper goods kind of things that I needed to pick up. This is the second pack of toilet tissue that I purchased in the last couple of years. I had so much toilet tissue that I had stocked up on gradually that I didn't really need to go out and buy any more. But now that surplus supply that I've had has been used up. So I had to buy a pack of tissue at my last grocery haul and then I picked up a pack today. And I'll probably need to be picking one up each week as I pick groceries up. The other thing that I needed was some freezer bags and you guys will notice I picked up the Kroger brand. Just their slider bags and then some Kroger gallon size storage bags. I tend to use quite a bit of those. And I've been buying the Dawn um, apple blossom dish soap and what I like to do is put a third of this in a bottle and then fill it up the rest of the way with water and then when we're doing dishes you know we do that thing today a lot where you wash dishes with the water running and then you just spray it with the dish soap and then scrub it off so I will do that and we will use that to just wash dishes if we're just giving them a quick wash in the sink however if we're going to run a sink full of dish water then of course we'll pour it directly from here into the sink and not have it diluted down and then hubby told me to be sure and pick up some trash bags and so I did and these tall kitchen drawstring bags were on sale for about $4.50 and it is the Island Nectar. It must have some kind of an odor with it. And I thought, what the heck, I'm just going in the garbage can. So I went ahead and got this one and probably saved about $4 because the other, like the one that didn't have this kind of an interesting fragrance to it was about $4 more. So I picked this up. And then of course, napkins. These are the napkins that I like to buy and we were just about out of those. So these are the items that I picked up in today's grocery haul. Now moms, here's some things I want you to think about. First of all, I don't want you to think about going out and panic buying. That's not what I'm trying to encourage you to do. What I am encouraging you to do is to pay attention to what's going on in the news and how might that affect you at the grocery store. If there are things that you know your family likes, then I encourage you to begin to stock up on those items, to prepare by purchasing maybe one or two extra of those items and just putting those back for a rainy day, so to speak, to put them back on your extended pantry or your prepper, meaning preparing pantry. If you don't have a deep freezer and you really can't stock up on a lot of meat in the freezer, then I encourage you to stock up on these canned meats. And as I said earlier, this Grable Country meats are very good and they have chicken, turkey, pork, and ground beef. So and you can get whichever one of those you want. And I do have some links for those in the description box that you can get on Amazon. You're better off getting them in Kroger's and Kroger's will ship. However, if there's no Kroger in your area and you don't want to try to order from Kroger's online, then you can find them on Amazon. So as, like I said, I'll put those links in the description box below. The other thing is that there were some things that I didn't get at the store. Like I almost picked up some taco seasoning for when I make tacos, but I thought, you know what? You have everything you need to make your own taco seasoning, put it in a jar, and then just set it aside. So when you need to make tacos, you can just take out a spoon or two and use that.
another thing that I did not pick up was Jiffy Corn Mix. I almost picked it up because I like just having that box that I can just pull out for just in case. But I've got an excellent recipe that shows me how to make a very similar item to the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. So I'm going to make up several batches of that and I'll have them in my pantry. So when I want to just whip up a batch of muffins, I'll be good to go. So I got you some ocean perch. So if I need you to do, because then you should separate it out. Mm -hmm. How many flavors are in there? Ten. Ten? Mm -hmm. That's an odd number, I think. Well, I didn't know how big they were or whatever, so I told her to give me ten so we could see like mm -hmm. how many you thought you would need for a meal. Mm -hmm. Eleven.
And let me invite you to sign up for my newsletter, The Homemaker's Journal. It comes out about every six weeks and it'll be chock full of information that you will enjoy. And it will certainly help you on your homemaking journey. And if you hate to do laundry, you absolutely positively hate to do laundry, then sign up for my Laundry Lab Masterclass. And we're kicking it off on National Laundry Day with a 10 day in the Laundry Lab Challenge. And I've been asked frequently whether or not I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, and the answer to that question now is yes. But the one-on-one -on -one coaching would take the form of one weekly session four times a month at $100. So if you think you want to have some individual coaching, then be sure to sign up for my Patreon. And as I said, all the links are in the description box below. For more homemaking and homekeeping inspiration and grocery hauls, Click this video next.